I grew up in a first-generation American family from, um, my parents moved here from India um, back in the late 70s. Uh, my dad moved here in like 79, I believe, to join the American military, join the army here. And then my mom came a couple out, uh, a couple years later after that. You know, my parents you know, struggled just like everybody else, trying to make sure we raised three good kids. And, um, you know, I grew up in a fairly low-income area. Um, you know, my parents didn't have much, but um, we, we made it. I was the only Indian kid around. Um, there was nobody who looked like me, talked like me. Um, I had this confusion, like, you know, hey, you know, I, I'm in this environment. Um, how do I identify in this environment? So um, it was challenging. Um, you know, there were, there were friends and family who were Indian that were in, in the area, but not close to me. So my day-to-day -day stuff um, didn't involve um, um, Indian people, just people like me. Um, I, I got a lot of um, influence and education from my parents. Um, you know, they were very, they weren't very religious, but very into their traditions and, 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 and how they wanted me to be as I grew up. But um, um, I, I couldn't find that with my friends because there wasn't anyone around that looked like me that was Indian that could have some of those same traditions and, and beliefs as me. So, so I just kind of dove into my environment and they helped me kind of develop who I was. I, um, I jumped into sports. I got to hang out with people that didn't really um, have same background, but we had the same interest and same same goals. So as a kid, I don't think I don't think um, anybody around me showed me any any negative feedback, favoritism, or anything like that. I was just one of the kids, and you know, I got to hang out, I learn, and play, and and do all the normal things that we did. Um, and, and I think that was fantastic. As I got older, I become became more aware. Others became more aware. We started developing our own attitudes and feelings and, and impression by other people that we can't control sometimes. And I think I noticed it as I got older. Um, you know, stereotypes are, you know, you're, you're Indian, you know, why, how do you live here? Or, you know, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna be this, or you're gonna talk like this, or, you know, things like that. So, so as I got older, you know, through middle school, high school, you know, you could start feeling those things. Um, but also at that time, I was able to um, you know, start driving and go hang out with folks that look like me. So I started being able to kind of fill some of those gaps that maybe I needed um, early on. Um, I think it's absolutely important to understand, especially in the workplace, that everybody has different experiences. You know, um, we put a lot of focus on people who have kids. We, you know, child care, schools are out. How do you work from home with kids at school and things like that? And that's absolutely important. I think we forget there's other people that are struggling as well. People have health issues. People have pets that are struggling. People have financial situations here. Um, people are stressed out because they're not able to hang out with their friends or see family and see loved ones and grandparents. Um, people have lost friends and family. So I think in Riker County is no different. We obviously even probably have more need for that because we have such a diverse population that works here. And then we have a diverse uh, residence base. So um, I think it's very important that um, county employees understand that there are so many issues or concerns or people that just come up from s different backgrounds and different experiences that we can't, you know, communicate with every single person the same way. And I know that's tough and difficult and I know it takes a little bit of work, but um, we should always understand that we might have to put a different type of effort or communicate differently or think things through a little differently um, when it comes to individuals. I do believe you don't have to have everything in common with your coworkers, but you have to have a comfort level. You have to have a trust level. And it, it goes back to sports. You don't have to enjoy everything about your coworkers, but you have to have some common goals. You have to have some comfort level there. You have to know that the person next to you really cares about you when it comes to um, your personal life, work life, whatever that may be. I think learning about people's um, identif identities, how they see themselves, how they see other people, um, where stereotypes you know came from, and and also I think the important thing is just to remember that everybody learns things at different times in their lives. So so what we may think at ten we should have learned, others may have not learned that till twenty or thirty or as an adult. So um, 
Um, I think that's a big thing when it comes to uh, maybe you know, like what we're talking about here is stereotypes, you know, um, just because we feel some way um, and someone else feels a different way. Um, maybe we believe they're wrong. However, how did they come up with that, that belief? How did they feel that way? How do they think that way? And then kind of learning from there. So I think this allows us to just have some real um, real time conversations about that. And so I think the county is doing a fantastic job. I've never thought they haven't, but I also believe that um, this is a great opportunity to take advantage of to, to do things like this, to have those conversations, have forums and have, have um, management show, hey, we're listening, we're interested, and we are going to come up with solutions rather than worry about how we got here. Um, you have to know how, why you got here, um, but then also let's, let's take that information and, and do something with it.